Hello friends, Kishan is here again. So this is the continuation of my previous video tutorial where we have learned uh, how to check whether JDK uh, has been already installed on my Windows operating system or not. We have also learned how to set the uh, Java path using environment variable and uh, we learned from where we can download the uh, JDK uh, JDK software so let's go ahead and next thing we would like to discuss what is JDK JDK full form is Java development kit is it platform dependent or independent you can define JDK like this JDK is an specification that provides runtime environment in which Java bytecode can be executed. There are different JDK is available for the many hardware and software platform. JDK, JRE and JVM are platform dependent because configuration of each OS differs. But Java is platform independent. Java is also called write once and run anywhere. So in previous section already we have discussed about the what is the difference between Windows X64 and Windows X86. So I am going to skip this part in this video. Uh, if you haven't installed JDK on your machine then first of all you need to download JDK from Oracle website and how to install JDK on your machine you can refer this link. This link provides you a step to a step guideline to install JDK on your machine. Now once you install the JDK on your machine then second step is to involve how to set path and Java home for compiling and running of Java applications. So how to set Java path we have already uh, seen in the previous video. In this video we are going to look how to set the java home but uh, but before that we would like to discuss why we have set the java path in our environment variable if we don't set java path then what will happen so guys i would like to tell you if you do not set java path in your environment variable then tools like java c java java p java doc there are many tools available in your jdk bin, bin folder so those for uh, those tools will not be recognized by your uh, your command prompt we have a we have a command prompt in windows operating system that is dos so that dos will not uh, recognize uh, these tools which are available in your bin folder okay that's why you need to set uh, class path of your Java. Once you set the class path of Java, then you can run Java applications from any directory of your operating system. Else, you need to go to the bean folder and you need to compile your Java class, like you can see in the slide. Now, if this is already we have discussed how you can set the uh, Java path in your environment variable. And of course, if you did not set uh, path in your environment variable, then if you try to execute this command like Java C, then you will get this kind of error. These things already we are discussed in previous video. Now, how to set Java home in your Windows operating system? Before uh, setting, I mean Java home in your Windows operating system, let us discuss why should I set the Java home guys sometimes if you are using tomcat or some tomcat is a web server and if you are using some application server like websphere jboss glassfish this kind of uh, tools required java home to be set on our environment variable so let's go ahead and check uh, how to set java home in your windows operating system 
So here So here you will have to go to your JDK directory. So here I have installed JDK in C drive program files Java JDK 1.8. So copy this location. This is called JDK home directory. Now right click on your my computer. Now go to the properties. Now click on the advanced setting, advanced system settings. Now we get this pop up. Select advanced. Now environment variables. Now here, user variable section. Just click on the new. So guys, here already I have set it Java home. So you can edit part. You can click on the edit and you can see Java variable variable name you have to give java underscore home and variable value you need to specify your jdk home directory right and after that you need to click on the ok ok and final ok so this way you can set java home directory in your windows operating system that's all in this video tutorial guys now once you set the java home as well as java path then you can run your java application from any directory of your operating system so that's all i have in this video tutorial i'm going to upload more video tutorials related to the java please subscribe my youtube channel to get more updates about my latest video upload guys see you next tutorial till that happy learning bye